Hello, this is Tim from the Utah Education Network and welcome to part two of uh, this tutorial on creating a spry menu bar with flyout menus. So in the first tutorial we talked about inserting it and customizing the labels on these menus. So uh, customizing the words and um, how to make these uh, flyout menus. And just to review, all that is handled by using the uh, Spry Properties bar. And to get to that, if I just click inside my menu, once it's inserted, I get a little blue handle that comes up on the top, a little blue header. If I click on that, then my property bar changes and gives me the uh, tools I need for editing and creating these menus. Okay, so you can kind of see that here. Um, when I turn the styles off, you see it's just a bolded list. Uh, but uh, if you're new to using CSS and creating menus, you may want to just use this properties toolbar down here. Okay, so again, if I click off of it, that menu goes away. Click inside the navigation bar and uh, menu bar and click on the, on the blue header, and that get, gets me the um, properties bar back uh, that lets me edit it. Now, a little bit about changing what it looks like. So the colors, the rollover colors. This one is white or uh, cream colored with black text. When I roll over it, it uh, the background color goes to blue and the text changes to white. Same thing on these menus. And there's a little border around the outside. So the CSS that creates this menu um, isn't too complicated. There's just kind of a lot of it. And um, if you're new to it again, uh, it takes a little bit to get a handle of which one of these rules. You can see I've got a whole list of rules over here that, uh, that were automatically created uh, to create this spry uh, menu bar. You can see all these rules go in to just creating this little menu bar here. So. Um, it can be a little tricky to fish around here and change stuff. So there's a there's a tool in Dreamweaver called the Code Navigator, which is designed to sort of help me sort out um, what's happening here in the CSS. So I'm going to just click over here. So I'm inside that uh, the word home there. So I'm inside the menu, and if I'm just patient for a second or two, um, you can see I get this little icon that pops up that looks like the, a ship's wheel. It's the Code Navigator, and if I click on that little icon it brings up the actual code navigator and I can see the cascade of styles that apply to this item that I'm working on. So uh, the one that specifically applied to my spray, spray menu is uh, this set right here. So you can see I've got a class called uh, UL, a UL dot menu bar vertical class. Um, so I can, if I sc scroll my mouse or just hover my mouse over each one of these rules, I get a little tool tip that pops up. That's that yellow box that shows me the styles that are being applied. Um, and it's a cascade. So if I want to see what's the closest, I can come down here to this bottom one. And I, this one is controlling um, the hover and the focus. So that both of those change the color, uh, the background color to that 33C, which is that blue, and the text color to FFF, which is white. Um, if I go up one, so now I'm, I'm looking at the A tag um, that happens to be in the class called menu, by v menu Bar Vertical, and I look at that, and there it says a few things, background color white, um, text color um, black, um, those are the things, and text decoration to none. And if I go up, you can see there is a width on this one. So this is the list item. And then I see a width of 8 M's. And font size and text alignment. If I go up one more, I get a border. So there's my border. Um, and you can see those two are the same. If I go up one more, there's another width. So I can see that the unordered list has a width on it. And the list item has a width. So if I want to change the width, of this and have the best, uh, have a, uh, excuse me, have it look just right. Um, I would probably need to change both of those. Here's how you get to those if you want to change them. So let's just, for instance, uh, not change the width first. Let's just change the colors. So I need to go find the where the background color is. So I just move my cursor down, and I can see that um, under uh, menu bar vertical A, I have um, background color, and that's giving me that white color. So I'm just going to click on that. And when I click on it. It opens up the style sheet here if I have um, the code view open. So if I want to, if I'm a hand coder, I can just edit it right there. It also 
brings me to that um, rule in my CSS styles panel and it's and it's visible so if I just need to change one thing like the background color I can change it right here in the lower half of this if I wanted to see all the options I could click the pencil here which is the edit so first I'm just going to change the background color so I'm going to click on the little um, color sample and maybe I want it to match this green okay so I click on the green there now nothing really happened um, and I'm going to change the text color the font color to white Okay, so if you look over here, nothing's happened yet. Nothing's visible. Nothing's showing up. The reason for that is, is I just edited this um, this additional style sheet. You can see I've got the little star on it. So I've edited that. I need to I need to save that so that those new colors that I just picked um, get saved. So if I click over here and do file save, come back, and now you can see that those I have um, an accurate preview there. Of, of what's happening. Now to get the best peer view I want to go to at least live view here. So there's my live view and as I roll over these these uh, rollovers work. Um, so maybe I want to change what the hover looks like. Um, this blue, I don't like the blue, maybe I want that to be white with black text. Okay so again I'm going to switch out a live view. I'm just going to hover my cursor over there until the code navigator comes up. Um, if you're impatient, you can get the code navigator to come up by doing Command Alt N. Okay, and now if I look down here, I can see that um, this bottom one here is controlling the color when it hovers and when it's focused. I'm going to click on that; it brings it up. There's my two colors. So background color, I'm going to change that to white. Font color, I think I'll use that same green. Okay, so with that much, again, I still need to do the saving. So there's my spry menu vertical.css. I'm going to just click inside of it make sure that's saved. Um, and let's check and see in live view when I roll over that. Oh, I didn't get the change. Same as before. Let's just go try that again. Um, not sure why that one didn't work. Okay. All right, let's try that again. Oh, you know what? I'm going to preview in the browser. Um, let's see. Okay, I've still got the, the previous style set up. So that usually means that I didn't edit the right ones. So let's go back and uh, get that code navigator up again. And scroll over there. Um, so I wonder that looks okay okay so to uh, to finish this up uh, we just had to do a bit of troubleshooting uh, with our CSS. So when you use these spry tools um, and you want to change what they look like, it is uh, you do need to be willing to poke around a little bit, um, especially when you're new to CSS. Uh, one thing I did is I went and looked right in the um, .css file, the spry menu by vertical.css. I'm going to open it up full size and um, they're commented out pretty well. So as I read these, I can see that there's two styles here that are controlling background color and text and it gives me a little indication here that um, in the gray writing it gives me instructions or at least a hint of, of what's going on here. So um, initially I had just changed this to be a white background just to hover in focus but I also needed to change um, this one to, to that same setting so that it worked for everything and that was the hold up. So when I go back to design view and do the live view you can see now I have the background effect that I wanted. Okay, So I just had to poke around a little bit to get 
um, that to show up the right uh, the right color the color that I wanted um, so that may you may have to do a little bit of that when you use these tools um, as far as the width goes um, that's something that might you might be interested in, in adjusting so I've got my main UL style up here that has a width of 8 M's if I decide I wanted something different I can click right on it change it to say pixels and maybe I want this only to be 80 pixels Oops. 80 pixels wide. Um, now there's a couple more than one thing that's controlling the width. So the UL and the LI here have a width attribute. So I'm going to need to change both of those before I'll have a good effect. Okay. So obviously my text is a little bit long there, but um, so it hangs out. So I'd have to control for that. But initially I could change the width of each one of these. Um, but my main menu and uh, these flyout menus, there's a separate control for those and I'd have to sort of look for that. Um, those are this next level down. So my ULLI, there's two widths there. Those are the flyout menus. So again, you gotta poke around a little bit but uh, you're definitely capable of doing that. And these spry widgets, you can see there's a whole set of them up there that do different kinds of things but this one will insert a menu bar, either horizontal or vertical, um, that you can add to your page quick and easily.